manage Rich Hayes, the business is Beverly Motorworks, BMW Mini Specialist based in Beverly. So career started before setting up our own business at BMW, uh, working for the main manufacturer, constantly frustrated about how customers were being treated. So we thought that we could do it a lot better and with the accreditations that we've achieved, we believe that we are doing it a lot better. So we've just achieved uh, which trusted trader accreditation, which we went through the full audit process. We're the only garage in the area to have it, the closest one's Leeds, and then far up as Newcastle. So for us to get that within the area for us is a big tick in the box and it confirms our position within Beverly, within Hull, within the area, as one of the leading garages. People that mainly influenced me to become an entrepreneur, mainly my daddy retired at 49 after selling his own business. So that's a massive benchmark for, for me to look at and see if we can, can beat that. We read various books. Jack Canfield's a big inspiration for us. We use it with the team as well, and we try and pass that on to the team. Fortunate enough to write a chapter in a book that got published as well, so by being an entrepreneur has put us into all different arenas that we never dreamed that we'd get into. So to keep going as an entrepreneur, it's just all based around risk. So some people not keen on risk. You maybe find that most entrepreneurs like a bit of risk, enjoy the thrill of the fact that, you know, we, we set up bought a six and a half thousand square foot unit and didn't know anyone in the area and, and just had a boatload of enthusiasm. So I say risk and enthusiasm is the big thing that keeps us going. And obviously been employed before, all the security was great and we obviously gave that all up for, for just taking a risk and seeing how it goes. With the FEO, you, it's, it's not networking, it's pure support. So from our point of view, we also had Paul Sewell from when FEO first started. Um, and we never even knew what an entrepreneur was until we realised that we were actually entrepreneurs ourselves. But to have that level of support that you can, you can give them a ring, invite them down for a coffee, meet up, and you get however many years experience from the likes of Paul, Ian Bland, you know, there've been massive influences on how we run businesses of our own compared to how they run theirs. And, you know, the only difference is the zeros on the end of but the principle's still the same. And one of the key things that we've learned is that, you know, don't panic. And that was one of the first things that, especially Ian Bland said to us when we first started, you know, don't panic about it, just what will be will be, but never panic in a situation. Always take your time to think about it and just weigh up all the different options. The main thing that we realised, and it took us maybe a couple of years to realise, it's all about cash flow. Just make sure your cash is flowing and keep an eye on it every day. And it's all about that. You can get carried away with enthusiasm, wanting to do all sorts of different bits and bobs, but unless you, your financials are right and you, that you're legal doing things, then your business is never going to succeed. But it's just having a finger on the pulse of your business financially, and you know that what's coming in comes in and what goes out goes out, and that the two balance. Yeah, I mean, don't be scared to get support in. Don't be scared to, to pay someone to do it for you. You know, we're, we're experts in customer service. We're not experts in financials, but we have a bookkeeper, we have an accountant, we have a, a management consultant that supports us. We, you know, don't be scared to get extra resource in. No one expects you to know it all. Even though when you open the doors you think that you have to know it all, you don't. And it's using the support and the guidance from other people in their specialised field to strengthen your business. The satisfying moments are every Monday morning when you're coming in and you've got a full week in front of you. You know, you're fully booked till the following week, you know what's coming, all your staff are up for it, you have a great Monday morning meeting, get everyone motivated. You know, you can drive into the business and see all the cars parked out the front. You can leave the business to go and do meetings and know that the place still runs because you've employed some really good key people. Um, and to finish on a Friday night, we've recently just signed a 10 year lease on the business. So we know where we are for the next 10 years. And it's all about constantly growing, employing more people and increasing the volume of work that we're doing. So at the minute we're in a very good place. The best bit of advice I can give is that People are not interested in the ideas that you've got. It's how you go and put them in place. And there's no good talking about it, just go and do it. And if it don't work, it doesn't matter. Nobody's gonna come along and, you know, laugh in your face for not doing it. You've got to, you have to tip your hat to anyone that's, that's either tried or is running their own business, because it is tough. My biggest one's behavior breeds behavior. When you go into business, you need to be, you need to treat people the way that you want to be treated. You're dealing with professional people that have where it's hard to get where they've got to and you have to pay them the respect that they that they deserve so you need to treat people how you want to be treated whether it's a supplier your relationship with suppliers should be the same as your relationship with your customer because you need them on board to be able to support you you know and grow the business so it's really behavior breeds behavior you're nice to someone you'll get it back if you're off with someone then don't expect to get you know treated the way that you want to be treated